college is about living and learning. From academics to friends, Greek life to campus ministries, experiencing life to the fullest, chronicling the times of Northwestern State University, this is Demon Life. Hi, welcome to Demon Life. Uh, I'm your host today, Joe Waller, and today we have with us Justin Rogers. Justin's an NSU student and a local employee, and we're calling, uh, calling him in to, to ask him about how he handles um, life as a student and as an employee. So, uh, Justin, thanks for having, having uh, come on today. Thanks for having me. Um, I want to ask you uh, first, tell us a little about yourself. Uh, I'm a junior social studies education major here at Northwestern. Uh, I'm a transfer student from Louisiana College. I transferred last spring. Uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed being here so far. Uh, I'm involved at uh, the Baptist Collegiate Ministry on campus. Uh, I'm a local employee at the Cambridge Cafe on Front Street. Uh, I also work with Sports Information Department here on NSU campus. And uh, lastly on that list is uh, probably the most important thing that I'm involved in, which is the Bridge Church. It's uh, located on South Drive here in Natchitoches. Awesome, cool. Um, and we wanted to ask a little bit today about uh, your, your um, involvement with the Cane Break Cafe. It's, a, it's becoming a, a, bit, a little bit of a hot spot uh, with NSU student body. Can you tell us a little bit of a history of the Cane Break, what it is and where it came from? Uh, the Cane Break Cafe is on the corner of uh, Church Street and Front Street on, uh, well, Front Street. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it used to be owned by uh, our current owner, Lee Goday. His grandfather owned it, Mr. Johnny, who also owned uh, Mercy Buku before he handed it down to his son. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, uh, he sold it to uh, other local owners, I uh, think three years ago, and then September of 2011, Lee and Regina Godet bought it, uh, and they kept the name the Cambridge Cafe, and that is their main, mean, main means of income, uh, as they are also the pastor and pastor's wife at the Bridge Church. Uh, they're bivocational, and uh, they church planted here from Sulphur, and this is how they make their money. Awesome, cool. Now, how did you get involved with the cane break? Uh, I'm, before moving up here as a transfer student from Louisiana College, I came to visit a friend, and uh, she said that she wanted to eat at the cane break, and I went there, met Lee, and then whenever I got here, I got plugged in with the church, and he uh, said he needed some help at the cafe. I'm a college student. I was in desperate need of a <laughs> job, and so uh, God just opened up the doors to where I could uh, have a steady means of income just to help with the extracurriculars around campus that way I could uh, enjoy life and not have to eat ramen noodles every day. <laughs> I hear that. Now what exactly do you do at the, at the coffee shop? Uh, I guess you could label it as a, a barista uh, or baristo. I'm not sure of the grammar of the <laughs> Spanish in that. Uh, but uh, I make coffee uh, depending on, I mean, it's not just your regular Folgers brew coffee. Right. Uh, we do the lattes, cappuccino, frappuccino. Uh, chai lattes, whatever, and then I also work uh, in the kitchen. We have a uh, lunch menu that we run from 11 to 2. Uh, we do sandwiches and soup, and uh, so we just kind of stick with the main means of uh, just coffee and sandwiches, and then we also have our pastries, and I just sell those and run the register. Awesome. Now, I know the cane break has be become really popular with the, the student body as well as, as a popular spot with locals and tourists. Uh, do you have any idea, or could you tell us why you think it's becoming such a, such a big hit? Uh, to address the college, uh, I mean, you, whenever you get into college, you have the, the stereotype of staying up late, and uh, mm -hmm. with that comes energy drinks and coffee. Right. Uh, and so just there's an automatic draw to a coffee shop. Uh, and our, our hours may not be as suitable to, to college life uh, as would be uh, most appropriate. Uh, we run from 8 to 6, uh, Monday through Saturday. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, but I mean, it's just a, it's a good atmosphere. It's close community. Uh, I mean, we're just right down the road from the school in the heart of downtown. Uh, I believe if you took downtown and divided it in half, we are right on the corner of half. All right. And so uh, it's, it's a good location. Uh, it's got great food. Uh, absolutely love it. We have a, a big popularity with, uh, with the BCMers on campus. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's partly because of uh, my involvement and, and, and uh, their involvement with the church uh, right. that Lee and Regina have. And then we're also very popular with the baseball team. Nice. Uh, just we have some, some good friends that uh, have just come to, to love the, the food there and the coffee. And it's just once you, once you go, you're hooked. Uh, right. for, we have a, a lot of uh, influence from the downtown community with the, the business owners down there. They, right. You know, it's quick. It's a place you can go get a, a good sandwich. Uh, for lunch and a cup of coffee about two o'clock when everything's starting to drag on mm -hmm. and uh, with the tourists you know we're in the heart of downtown of, of the oldest city 
uh, in Louisiana. Right. And I know that you guys have, have become successful when a number of other, uh, you know, areas, whether it be coffee shops or other restaurants have tried to open up and, and haven't been able to succeed. What do you think sets the cane break apart? What, what uh, gives it that edge? Uh, I think a lot of it boils down to just how we, we care for our, uh, our customers. I mean, mm -hmm. we have, we build relationships with those who come in a lot and it's, it's awesome to see. Uh, one of the baseball players here, Will Watson, has his own cup. Mm -hmm. And uh, after he hit his first home run this season, we allowed him to put the, uh, the sandwich that he always gets on the board. And we do that with other, other people who come in, uh, just people who have shown dedication to us as a favorite place to go. We try to return the favor and, you know, have their own special cup or uh, have their order ready to go. And they walk in, just say the usual, and it's, we all right. know what's going on. So, so you're not just a coffee shop. You're really becoming part of the community of Natchitoches. Absolutely. I would, I would say that's, that's a definite uh, we have, I don't know how many people every day that come in and it's just, you know, hey, Justin, how you doing? It's like, mm -hmm. hey, you know, with, with all of them, we were on first name basis and they just come in. We'll have conversations if anything's on their mind. It's not just a just a business communication. It's it's heartfelt uh, family community. And we try to make a big impact uh, with with what our belief systems are right. up there and, and try to just show love to those uh, in, in Natchitoches. That's really cool. Now, well, as, as great as a place as this is, you know, it is still a job. So how do you handle um, your job at the cane break as well as your other jobs, your other extracurriculars, uh, and your school responsibilities? How do you, how do you juggle all of that? Uh, the Lord uh, is my <laughs> shepherd, and I am a dumb sheep. Uh, and I will say that with, with all authority. And uh, I just, it's, it's interesting to see how everything plays out every week because mm -hmm. there's so many things going on between BCM, uh, the church, and... and uh, in the cane break and well and the other job because I mean we're in the heart right. of baseball season and that's the main sport that I work uh, so it's just the way that that we're scheduled uh, really works with with how my schedule goes I do have mm -hmm. to cut off intramurals uh, right. for for a good amount of time I'm off on Wednesday Thursdays and so I'm available for that with the BCM uh, but there's sacrifices that always have to be made uh, I have, I've been blessed with a with an easy schedule mm -hmm. uh, you know there's with ample time to get projects done so it's not all thrown on me at once right. and I can take the time and allot it in whatever means necessary uh, to balance out work and school and it's not always easy uh, but somehow it all manages to get done. Right and, and how have how has these kind of jobs and these kind of responsibilities um, helped you to grow as a, as a student? Um, well they just they've taught me responsibility uh, definitely I'm uh, one of the Let's see, we have four employees uh, that really work all the time, and I've been there the longest out of the hired on employees. Mm -hmm. uh, and so there was a time when I was having to close up every, uh, every evening during the week. And it's just taking, that, taking the time and instead of saying, okay, well, this is just someone else's business, it's really become uh, such a part of my life and I've developed such a relationship with, uh, with Lee and Regina and uh, Stefan who works there now, uh, that it's, it's not one of those like, oh, I'm going to do this just because I get a paycheck. Right. It's one of those things that's like, okay, well, they're my pastor and pastor's wife, and I respect them and I love them, and I want right. them to have as best of a business as they possibly can. And so I, I put it on myself uh, to, even though I may not be the hardest worker all the time, uh, I kind of slack off every now and again. But it's not putting my benefit first, but making sure that the business is able to run for their family and be able to support and uh, I know the more I put into it, it's like 4-H. The more you put into right. it, the more you get out of it. Awesome. Um, and so you can, you can tell from hearing about this that the, this coffee shop is really, it's beneficial not just to community um, around Natchitoches area, but to students, to you as well. Um, what would you say as far as uh, students that are interested in maybe branching out more, you know, besides just doing schoolwork, uh, interested in getting a job, interested in getting involved in extracurriculars, um, based on your experience, what, what advice could you give them? Um, First, first thing, uh, as, a, as a student, you have to put your education first, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, and not everyone's schedule is going to work out to where they can have a, a job like, uh, like what I've been given at, at the cane break, where right. it's, you, know, you have people who can work around your schedule, uh, and it's a very relaxed community. Uh, we're, all, we're all family up there, and it's just you have that balance, and it's just something has to be done for school. They obviously respect that. Uh, so put your schoolwork first. Uh, 
and then there comes a time whenever uh, as a student you realize you're not in mama's house anymore and you're right. not a high school student you have to put your financial stability ahead of your playtime right. and while all work on no play makes jack a dull boy you do have to have the work in order to have the play right and but if you if you can't support yourself uh with intramurals involved mm -hmm. then you have to figure out a way to cut back on one and and put priority ahead with uh with success and build yourself don't allow yourself to get so far behind that it's hard to climb out of the hole definitely definitely some good words well justin thanks again for coming uh Letting us talk to you for a little while. Thank you for giving your, your input. And thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, for Demon Life, this is Joe Waller. Y'all have a good day.